You were in the news Wednesday for a reason that I'm sure you didn't really uh, welcome. You had to make a decision at the quarterback spot. Trevor Lawrence is who you've decided to go with. Kelly Bryant, as a result, has decided he's going to transfer. Your reaction to all of this noise, all of this noise that's been going on about your quarterback situation? Uh, well, you know, I mean, it's it's a huge story because it's quarterback. If you you know if you've made the second team tied in, first team tied in, I'm probably not talking to you, but. Uh, you know, the quarterback position, there's a lot of eyes on it, especially at Clemson. And uh, the bottom line is, uh, Cliff Nose version is, is we promoted uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence to first and put Kelly second. And uh, he decided to, he didn't like the decision, he decided to move on. And that is his right. Um, and certainly wish he would have stayed but uh, support him in his decision and really thank him for everything he's done here. Um, but as a coach, sometimes you got to make some tough decisions along the way and, and doesn't mean that, that we're always right or I'm always right, but this is what I felt like was best for this team right now. And uh, time will tell, but um, you know, we've got to move forward. Uh, Kelly has to, is moving on. I, I certainly, again, wish he would have stayed and gave him the opportunity to stay and even redshirt, but but he felt like it was best for him to move on and play somewhere next year. So he's a graduate. He's an incredible young man, uh, comes from a great family. He's always done everything uh, that's been asked of him. And um, uh, even though I, I was disappointed with his decision, it's his right to make that decision and uh, certainly support him in that. Coach, purely from a football perspective, what do you say to folks that'll look at a guy like Kelly Bryant, recognizing the talent that exists with Trevor Lawrence, and they'll say, but this is a guy that helped you get to that college football playoff. This is a guy that helped you achieve a strong level of success last year. How about sticking with that guy? As a football coach, knowing how difficult that decision is for you to make, what do you say to folks that'll look at the resume of one guy and say, excuse me, why would you make this change? Yeah, well, I would just say that, you know, it's not that simple. Uh, and, you know, you, you start over every year. You recruit great players every year. You know, this is no different than what you see all over the place. Uh, you know, you have guys that uh, new freshmen come in, just like when Christian Wilkins got here to Clemson, he was a starter. He beat out a lot of veterans. When Dexter Lawrence got here, he started as a freshman. He beat out a lot of veterans. When Deshaun Watson got here, uh, a couple games in, uh, he beat out Cole Stout. I love Cole Stout, and he was a senior and committed and had been a great backup for us and had done a lot of good things. But at the end of the day, as coaches, we have to evaluate and make critical decisions that we think give us the best chance to be successful. And when you make decisions, you know, there's always going to be criticism. There's going to be people that don't agree with that decision, especially if it doesn't go the way they want it to go. Uh, but, you know, Trevor Lawrence has earned this opportunity uh, through four games. Uh, he, he's earned it. And, you know, you, yeah, last year's great, but, but it's all about this year. And everybody has to earn it all over again. And, uh, you know, right now I feel like uh, Trevor gives us the best chance uh, based on his productivity and what he's done through four games. And, you know, it's unfortunate, again, that some people may not agree with that decision, but, you know, that's my job uh, is to make tough decisions along the way. And um, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But at the end of the day, you got to make a decision and move forward. Well, they are clearly not Dabo Sweeney, who is 44 and 44-4 and over the last three seasons, plus the first four games this year. Three consecutive trips to the playoffs, two back-to-back -back -back national championship appearances, and a national championship, I might add, where I ended up being wrong because I picked against you, and you remind me of that all the time. Having said all of that, let's talk about Trevor <laughs> Lawrence for a second. Talk to me about this guy. How good do you think he's going to be, and what is it about him Trevor Lawrence that makes him so special in your eyes right now yeah well I, and I hate comparing guys but but he has the same characteristics that Deshaun had as far as his demeanor uh, his his love of preparation his poise his natural instincts and uh, he and then he's just got he's just got elite elite arm talent and he's 6'6 217 pounds so uh, he's just very well prepared and, uh, you know, he's a special talent. I mean, it, from time to time you have guys that show up 
as freshmen. And it's not the norm, but you'll have some guys that show up and they're just the best player as a freshman. I saw it with DeAndre Hopkins. You know, he ended up starting as a freshman because he was the best player, beat out some veterans. Sammy Watkins uh, and, and Deshaun in, in that same category. And that's just who Trevor is. I mean, he's, he's, he's that caliber of a freshman. And uh, he's still a freshman, but he is, uh, has a great awareness for the game. And, uh, but his ability to be explosive and, uh, and what he's demonstrated through the first four games uh, is what has put us in this position. And I don't have any doubt if he stays healthy, uh, he'll leave here as, you know, one of the best we've ever had come through. Let's generalize from the perspective of just looking at your football program in the conference that you're in right now. You're squeezed by Texas A&M. That was a thriller. I loved watching that game from start to finish. But I'm looking at your schedule right now, and I'm, <laughs> far be it for me to be presumptuous, but I just don't see too many guys on your level the rest of your schedule right now. How concerned are you that you can't just win games, but you have to look great doing so in terms of being picked to enter that college football playoff picture again? How concerned are you about that moving forward? Yeah, well, you're not going to like my answer, Stephen A., but uh, it, it is what it is. And, man, I'm just, I'm just worried about beating Syracuse, and that's really it. And as a football coach, that's all you can be concerned about. I mean, I'll let other people worry about all that stuff. And, and, uh, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. We just control what we can control. That's to try to get ourselves ready to play each week and, and, and you know, attack the task at hand the very best that we can. And, uh, you know, if that's not good enough, then, then so be it. But that's really all my focus is, is to try to play our best game against Syracuse.